I'll just a few to be stranded on the side of the road. Here we are. I've been here for like six hours or something. But good thing, mechanic is here. Ready to roll. So you can see if we zoom in. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. A Jimmy, el primer viaje, se le reventó la llanta. Shouldn't be anything loose in trucks. The new one. Uh, this is a common part that goes wrong. Um, also, uh, he has been all over this uh, highway fixing these parts, water pumps as well. Uh, in time of heat, these trucks are under a lot of pressure, so that's what's going on. And no way. Una vez yo le platiqué a César Rosales que tenía una hermana que se salió hace 25 años de la iglesia. So here we are, the last final Jesus. In nice filtered cleaned and all that good stuff pressured in cooling and into the engine then of course out out to the muffin very good we're ready to roll this is my brother Noe who handled this still here in Caesar's Palace it's at 7 a.m. let's roll It's time to roll. So uh, that's where it is to be down for a day. It literally, I was down at seven, it's five. So I've been down all day. What's up you guys? Everything is uh, rolling normal. It looks like, uh, you know, uh, there was a concern to my boss that uh, Maybe I was gonna be smoking. I was gonna be smoking my, uh, uh, you know, from my exhaust. Therefore, he wanted me to go around the scale. Whoops. That's another topic. But yes, there is a way to go around the scales. Um, I can show you, but uh, I need to charge. <laughs> okay, so uh, well, I don't see any smoke. I don't smell any smoke. Um, I learned a lot from this uh, changing the turbo. It is something that is uh, changed a lot. It is something that uh, 
that doesn't, uh, it's not surprising when it breaks down. It's not surprising that you change one and the next week it breaks again. These things are um, under warranty, of course, but uh, things happen. Um, it's explained to me that these parts, it's not that they're defective, it's just that, you know, uh, manufacturing, uh, you know, errors, things happen. We cannot uh, predict when uh, they're going to happen, but yeah, things happen. So here we are, we're rolling uh, to get out of Vegas. Uh, I've been in front of the Caesar Palace Casino and Resort since 7 in a.m. Uh, I've been there, uh, what, uh, 11 hours. I've been there 11 hours. So, uh, yeah, I'm ready to go home. I'm, I, I have five hours, which is uh, just enough to get home. So, let's go home. Um, I am not smoking, so there is no need to go around the scale. And um, the mechanic is going to stop and get uh, dinner right now. And if I break down again, he's going to be right behind me. So, that's a plus. So, um, breaking down is also normal. My mom's like, tell them to get a new truck, and then, no, 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 it doesn't, it doesn't work that way. New trucks break down too. You know what I mean? It, it's right now we're hauling, I think, seventy-five thousand pounds. That's how heavy we are. You know, things are gonna break. It's just the way it is. Things are gonna break. Um, the first thing that broke on me uh, when I was new was the uh, the fan, the fan clutch on uh, unit. Uh, what was it? Zero zero eight or zero zero nine? I think unit zero zero nine. The original number when the, uh, my boss bought that truck is uh, six six six. <laughs> so you can understand why uh, my boss re uh, numbered her. <laughs> but anyway, the fan clutch broke on that. It broke on the what's it called? Layton, no, 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 it broke, uh, Jordan, Utah, and, uh, these, these engines are very nice, very strong, uh, I traded loads with somebody else, so I delivered their load, and they brought my heavy load back it was to the port of uh, Long Beach, and I was gonna deliver. Good thing that my truck broke because I, I don't want to go to Long Beach. It's too much traffic. So I, I delivered that guy who's coming up. I delivered his load, and then I went back to the yard empty. This something we like to do: we go back to the yard empty because. Uh, it's expensive to have roadside existence. It's expensive to take it to a shop out here in the road. Therefore, uh, my boss prefers to, to, if we can drive it home, we can drive it home, you know. Uh, I've driven before at 15 miles per hour, 20. You know, I have driven uh, without the fan, the, the motor made it. I overheated on the hill in California, Nipton Hill, but uh, I pulled over 30 minutes and then I ran again and perfectly fine. These engines are made to last. They're, they're very strong, they're very uh, dependable. But uh, of course, um, wear and tear, you know what I mean? Name something that doesn't break down with wear and tear. Second thing, dipstick the dipstick uh, to the oil in that same unit 009 um, my boss had an extra engine at the yard I was at a mechanic place and um, he had another driver deliver the dipstick so I waited for him like uh, 10 hours uh, 
before he got to me. But also, I um, I was there broken down from the day before, so what, 30 hours? Then they fixed it for me. A shop fixed it for me. They filled it up with oil because I dropped all the oil on the road. Imagine that. Uh, I also had a flat tire. The trailer tire popped on me when I was leaving Utah and St. George. Not fun. Uh, I waited five hours for a roadside assistant to find me. Um, all of this happens. It's part of the show. It's part of the uh, the plan. It's a Friday. I should have been home already by now. But uh, things happen. That's why I always use the term Lord willing. Because <laughs> everything is Lord willing. If God permits, I'll be there. If not, I won't. So I'm rolling now. I am not afraid. I, I, I don't smell smoke. I don't see smoke behind me. I'm not afraid of the California scale. So uh, I'm going straight. I'm not going to go around it. Beautiful day too. It's been raining over there in California. I think it's clearing up. But over here it rained a little. I, I took a nap. Hopefully this nap helps me. Uh, you know, I've been, I was just laying down there for, hey, I told you, 11 hours, imagine that. 11 hours is down. <laughs> so, yes, uh, here I am. Having a very great, very great experience driving. Uh, nothing, nothing bad so far. Nothing that... I mean, I've been under a lot of stress and anxiety before that I felt like quitting. But I don't quit. Um, I keep working and everything turns out fine. Right now, I'm, I'm thinking and meditating because I want my boss to fix that white truck because I want to be an owner operator. If uh, this would have happened to me as owner operator, I will be the one picking the, the bill, picking up the bill. My boss could easily say, you know what, it's your truck, you find a way to and deal with it. But um, I'm so happy that this happened to this truck and I'm not the owner operator of it. Because I'll be picking up the bill. Talking to roadside assistants and I'm telling him how much he makes. Like, hey, sometimes I make 900 bucks in a week. Sometimes I make 5,000 bucks in a week. It all depends what breaks down, who needs service. It's not consistent. So I can't tell you who will make, uh, you know, truckers also make good money. You can make ten thousand a week if in a good week. If you have a good loads and you find a good, you know, good loads to go that week, you can make it. Uh, but you know, if things happen, you break down, you flat tire, uh, you got a bad load. Right now, I'm rolling with a bad load. Uh, I'm doing recycle. Recycle is not recommended. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, here I am. Oh, that's right. I made video about scaling, huh? Yeah, I also scaled myself. I'm gonna combine these two videos. Scaling weight and breaking down. Stay tuned, next week. <laughs> we had a practice run today at the restaurant, my restaurant. Uh, I wanna say our restaurant because my family has helped a lot. And um, you know, we, we sold about 23 plates. It was just a test run to see how we will perform, perform under uh, that traffic that you just saw is a car burned down by the way. We're entering summer and it's time for people to check their, their liquids, check everything because summer likes to uh, burn the cars. So it was a successful test run. I'm going uh, to have a meeting, sit down with my mom tomorrow, which is my uh, business partner. And we're going to 
see how uh, what we could do to, to sell more to sell more tamales to uh, to open up the the restaurant fully and and have a full blast uh, opening. But uh, as for now, this week, thank you for uh, supporting. I know my my views have gone down. I know I have 10 subscribers. All of you are appreciated. I thought I had content that would be, you know, amazing. Everyone could love it. <laughs> but uh, like I'm just documenting my life. When you're bored, watch this. You know, just like when you watch a boring, uh, you know, documentary or a boring uh, series, and we have nothing to watch. This is what my uh, this is what my video are. <laughs> boring documentaries all right see you in redlands see you home have a good weekend